How was your summer? It was good. Uh, busy, but uh, lots of time with the family, so it was great. A lot of excitement to come back here and sign another contract with the Moose. What does that mean to you? Um, every chance I have to, to stay here is, uh, um, I love it, right? Like, I've been here for a while, and uh, my family's used to it. It's, it's, uh, it's almost home for us right now, so, um, yeah, every opportunity I have to come back here is uh, uh, my first option for sure, and uh, I'm very grateful for uh, the opportunity. How was your summer of training? Uh, it was good uh, compared to last year where I, I got injured there. But uh, yeah, this year was, was good. Um, I was still re like trying to work on my knee a little bit. And, uh, um, and then uh, the, the Jets camp was, was good for, for us too, to get, to get on the ice every single day and stuff. So uh, yeah, summer of training went well. And uh, it feels good to finally start a season the right way, right? Instead of being on the, the IR for so long and rehabbing the whole time, it, it feels pretty good to get things started. You know, last year you guys were a young team. You're going to be even younger this year. So you as captain, how does that, is there more responsibility for you just to know that you're going to have so many young guys who are going to be in their first year as a pro? Uh, I think it's going to be more work at the beginning. Uh, but then, like, all the guys here are great, great uh, persons. And um, it's going to be pretty easy to get everybody on the, on the same page. And, um, but we're going to have to do it, like, right from the get-go. and. Uh, get that out of the way before uh, it gets serious. Is that part of that culture that, that has really been here for a number of years now, especially almost since the bubble, basically, is that you guys just have that culture of inclusivity. And even if you're a veteran like yourself or a young guy, everybody feels like they have a voice in the room. Yeah, um, I don't know if it's if it's just me or if it's like the group we have or whatever. I think it's just uh, it's just the right way to go about it, I, I feel like. Um, like I've said many times, as soon as everybody's the is comfortable, uh, we can achieve better, better, or greater, uh, greater things, and uh, uh, that's all. That's all we think, and I think the the leadership group is thinking the same way. So um, that's how we go about it, and uh, we, I think we did well in the past few years. You mentioned it a little bit, Jim, but just how exciting was that for you to get that PTO to Jets camp too, just to sort of get your feet under you a little bit before Moose camp got underway. Same with some of the other guys as well that spent some time up there. Yeah, uh, no, it's uh, it's a great it's a great opportunity when uh, when I um, I talked to Zinger this summer and talking about resigning here and stuff. I, I really wanted to go to Jet, Jets camp and um, you know test my knee a little bit after a uh, uh, summer of training. You know, it's. You get on the ice maybe like two times, three times a week, and it's it's not always the greater the greatest skate. So uh, uh, just to just to get out there with these guys and test it a little bit, you know, it's all those practice or, or high pace, high skilled, and um, and um, you know every day on the ice and all that. Uh, and especially me, I'm, all, I'm I'm here anyways. So just to be part of that camp is just a great opportunity. I'm great grateful to. I was great. Uh, I'm grateful to be part of it for sure. And then this first skate too. I mean, it looked like it was pretty physical out there. Is that the tone you guys are trying to set here and just make it as intense as possible for all, everyone involved? Yeah, I, I think it's important to uh, bring the pace up right away, uh, just so um, no one falls in kind of a comfort zone. Um, especially when you come down from the Jets camp, you, you think it's going to be easy. You think it, you can let it let it go a little bit, but uh, I think the first practice is really important to get the pace to to get the pace at a high level and uh, make sure no, no one fall, falls asleep.